An ethnic bioweapon biogenetic weapon is a type of theoretical bioweapon that aims to harm only or primarily people of specific ethnicities or genotypes. History One of the first modern fictional discussions of ethnic weapons is in Robert A. Heinlein's 1942 novel Sixth Column republished as The Day After Tomorrow, in which a race-specific radiation weapon is used against a so-called pan-Asian invader. <laughs> <laughs> Genetic weapons In 1997, U.S. Secretary of Defense William Cohen referred to the concept of an ethnic bioweapon as a possible risk. In 1998 some biological weapon experts considered such a genetic weapon plausible, and believed the former Soviet Union had undertaken some research on the influence of various substances on human genes. In its 2000 policy paper Rebuilding America's Defenses, Think Tank Project for the New American Century PNAC described ethnic bioweapons as a potentially politically useful tool. PNAC went on to provide substantial staffing for the Bush Jr. administration. The possibility of a genetic bomb is presented in Vincent Sarek's and Frank Mealy's book, Race, The Reality of Human Differences, published in 2004. These authors view such weapons as technically feasible but not very likely to be used. Page 248 of Paperback Edition In 2004, The Guardian reported that the British Medical Association BMA considered bioweapons designed to target certain ethnic groups as a possibility, and highlighted problems that advances in science for such things as Treatment to Alzheimer's and other debilitating diseases could also be used for malign purposes. In 2005, the official view of the International Committee of the Red Cross was, The potential to target a particular ethnic group with a biological agent is probably not far off. These scenarios are not the product of the ICRC's imagination but have either occurred or been identified by countless independent and governmental experts. In 2008, the U.S. government held a congressional committee, Genetics and Other Human Modification Technologies, Sensible International Regulation or a New Kind of Arms Race, during which it was discussed how we can anticipate a world where rogue and even not so rogue states and non-state actors attempt to manipulate human genetics in ways that will horrify us. In 2012, The Atlantic wrote that a specific virus that targets individuals with a specific DNA sequence is within possibility in the near future. The magazine put forward a hypothetical scenario of a virus which caused mild flu to the general population but deadly symptoms to the President of the United States. They cite advances in personalized gene therapy as evidence. In 2016, Foreign Policy magazine suggested the possibility of a virus used as an ethnic bioweapon that could sterilize a genetically related ethnic population. Topic. Israeli ethno -bomb. Controversy In November 1998, the Sunday Times reported that Israel was attempting to build an «ethno-bomb» containing a biological agent that could specifically target genetic traits present amongst Arab populations. Wired News also reported the story, as did Foreign Report. Microbiologists and geneticists were skeptical towards the scientific plausibility of such a biological agent. The New York Post, describing the claims as blood libel, reported that the likely source for the story was a work of science fiction by Israeli academic Doran Stanitsky. Stanitsky had sent his completely fictional work about such a weapon to Israeli newspapers two years before. The article also noted the views of genetic researchers who claimed the idea as wholly fantastical with others claiming that the weapon was theoretically possible, a planned second installment of the article never appeared, and no sources were ever identified. Neither of the authors of the Sunday Times story, Uzi Manemi and Marie Colvin, have spoken publicly on the matter. <laughs> Russian ban on export of biological samples In May 2007, a Russian newspaper Kommersant reported that the Russian government banned all exports of human biosamples. The report claims that the reason for the ban was a secret FSB report about ongoing development of genetic bioweapons, targeting Russian population by Western institutions. 
The report mentions the Harvard School of Public Health, American International Health Alliance, Department of Medical Biotechnology of Jagiellonian University, United States Department of Justice Environment and Natural Resources Division, Institute of Genetics and Biotechnology Warsaw University, and United States Agency for International Development. See also Genographic project, genetic anthropology study, intention is to study migration. Biological warfare Pharmacogenomics Prayer of the Rollerboys Project Coast Race in biomedicine Siphon filter, a video game in which terrorists attempt to release a genetically programmable virus. Toxicogenomics Wouter Besson International HapMap Project Metal Gear Solid 5, The Phantom Pain, another video game which features an ethnic bioweapon targeting languages instead of genes. References External links Ethnic Weapons Race Specific Biological Weapons 1970 Military Review on YouTube Genetic Weapons, A 21st Century Nightmare, Ethirogen Anbarazan, UNESCO Courier, March 1999 Is All Fair in Biological Warfare? Journal of Medical Ethics, June 2009 New Biological Weapons, Science Fiction or Moral Imperative? Robin Copeland, Red Cross Red Crescent, July 1999 U.S. military agency invests $100 million in genetic extinction technologies Neslin, Arthur, 4 December 2017, The Guardian, access date 1 May 2018.